before you even do that, you bend. Like, you see where the joint is? Oh my god. No, I don't like how it cracked like that. You're just cutting it in half. You need to cut along the joint. You're literally cutting the bone. Like, oh my god. It's okay, me. let me do this. I'll tell y'all now. Like, <laughs> sorry if you ain't sneezing. If you ain't sneezing. <laughs> you know what I really hate? But y'all not ready for that conversation. I don't know. It just felt like so satisfying. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton and today I'm back with another video. As you'll have read by the title, today I'm really excited to bring y'all a video trying some shit I ain't never tried before. And who else would be better to cook this soul food meal with than the biggest G of the world? Peyton want to cook this soul food meal so bad. Random Monday. So y'all, as y'all read by the title, we about to do a soul food, cooking and eating my bang. There's really know what the fuck she's doing. Like she's real chef master. So if anything, I'm really taking notes and looking at what she's doing for real. Cause I have never done nothing like this, but she be throwing down regularly. So I felt like when she told me she wanted to do, I'm like, girl, of course. Cause I wouldn't have even known what the fuck I was doing if I did it by myself. Okay, you should have did it by yourself. It would have went, it probably would have went left. No, see how you came up with, what you came up with. I think I could do everything except the mac and cheese. But she said she gonna take notes and save all this for Thanksgiving time. So exactly. Thanksgiving, she should have a vlog for y'all. Huh? We're gonna do a real cooking and eating for Thanksgiving. So after I see how easy it is today, cause she's making it seem like it don't take, it's not hard, but she said it take a long time. It's just so cool. You know, all that shit hey. take a long time. Like, it's just a process. Like the greens, they need to be on. Really? We, we gotta cook them and cut them down though. Like we, gotta and we gonna get into it. I don't want YouTube to be all strict and stupid, but let's go ahead and prep the food first. And then we, cause even parents brought a bottle. They just don't be having the right stuff. I have to bring the right stuff. We need to hope Peyton got all the pans and seasonings. We need to pray we don't have to go back to the store. Cause she didn't sound so sure at the store. I don't think we're gonna have to. Let's get into it, y'all. Flashback. What's good, guys? So, um, I just I know I just had a different, a whole completely different intro. But um, we are at the grocery store. Me and Paris are about to go in. Yeah. Pick up some foods, some good foods, some good eats, so we can make this soul food. I'm very excited. Hungry already. I'm really hungry. I haven't ate at all. Yeah, I'm gonna just wait it out. And um, we got the. We got the Via Hemp Coke goodies on deck. This video is for educational purposes. <laughs> on how to cook some soul food while you're lit. It's Paris in the, uh, what is this called? A moped basket? <laughs> it's like meats and stuff, I think. The list right here for all our necessary ingredients. I'm just letting Paris do all the shopping because I don't know how to make any of this shit. We could get a greater day, sell them here. I need it to come out the best. I can grate cheese. I'm actually intrigued by the collards. I have a crock pot. Embarrassing. That's a big daddy right there. A big daddy onion. All right, guys, finishing up. We got everything, Paris. I'm hoping so, girl. A few minutes later. Okay, guys. So back at it again. I am technically we're I ha we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're about to start prepping basically all the produce and veggies and stuff like that. Paris is over here cutting stuff up. I'm about to help her wash some stuff. Just tell me what I need to do. Okay, so. Fill that pot. This pot halfway with water for the green. And then the rest of it, chicken broth. So I'm gonna put the trying to clean some chicken. So use all of this broth? Yes. Hot water. Yeah, that's broth for the green. Half water, half chicken broth. Hot water, hot chicken broth. Or you can use all water or all chicken broth. It's a little heavy. Just do what I feel. Nobody really talked. Loki kind of forgot to show y'all the ingredients, but really quickly, even though we kind of started already, we got some, some whole wings, some lime, some onion, some garlic, some orange. We got some collard greens. We got some yams. These are sweet potatoes for yams. Oh, turkey day. Turkey leg for the greens. <laughs> got some so fucking pasta noodles. Smoke. This is a smoked turkey. So it's already cooked. 
Yeah, mm, I'm excited. Then we also got some, what is this, pasta noodles? Some mac and cheese, some medium cheddar, some cheddar jack, some Winster cheese, and some Gouda. We had to kind of like make do, so we're not shredding any cheese. Great. We're not grabbing cheese, cheese. grater. All right, so. don't mention that. Don't mention that. We gotta make. She, she's gonna get one next time. Yes. Macaroni, grater, Sugar. Or cheese. Really? Okay. It's not like that big of a deal, but cornbread, it's... buttermilk, sour cream, evaporated milk, honey, maple extract, mustard powder, garlic paste, and lots of butter. Um, that's basically it. So we can get into it, y'all. I'm gonna cut and clean the grain. It's already soaking in a little, like, a little dash of white vinegar water. So you use the lime as the scrubber. And then uh, rinse this up for me. We'll just clean the chicken. Like, use the lime. So we're making buttermilk fried chicken. Um, what did you need again? Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. Um, you did have the Creole season up there. I saw it. The seasons for no reasons. Lights off. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So. Oh my God, this is so oh. sad. Why did they do the chicken like that? Yeah. I'm just not gonna think about it right now. This bitch is gonna have to eat it. So you're okay. gonna cut them like in half, right? So do you want to cut them? Okay, well yes. Do you know how to cut the chicken when you just cut it right down to the bottom? Really little, little. I guess you'll show me. Yeah, I'll show you. We're making buttermilk fried chicken. So season the buttermilk and you season the flour. Some people just season directly the chicken, then just do what you want. Tell them what you're doing. I told them. And show them, like show them. Oh, so I'm gonna season the buttermilk. And we're gonna let the chicken marinate in here while we do everything else because we're frying the chicken last. It gotta be fresh. You do not, mm -mm, I'm not frying no chicken first. Season it. Like everything you would put into your, season your chicken with, just season the buttermilk. I'm really taking mental notes. Write that down, write that down. I don't know measurements. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I don't know that. I do not know that. Go with your heart, babe. That's not how we over season it, bro. Well, I feel like, when you're doing buttermilk fried chicken, like, you know, you season this already, then it's it's already marinating in here. Then you just season the flour a little bit. It's not too harsh, you know? I need measurements, that's my problem. I ain't got no measurements. I just do it till it look right. A little onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Now rinse that water and then run different water and use that other half of lime. I use both my halves. Uh oh, take clean chicken real good. If I had long nails, we were eating out, babe. Yeah, I don't really trust eating for people that got long nails. We're eating out, babe. Unless they cook with gloves. <laughs> I like, that's why I asked you if you had gloves, cause I, I just, I do. I don't like the texture of like meat and shit, you know? I don't know, it's just a thing, sensory, I guess. Clean wings, baby. Okay, so when you cut it in half, let me see, you can use the scissors, a knife might be easier. <coughs> but you ain't sneezing, you ain't seizing. What did you just ask for? Um, a whisk. Oh, so, I'm so hating how to um, break the little whole wings in half. Yes. Oh, yeah, your scissors is much easier. You just cut it in half, cut it at the joint part. And you could also cut this part if you want a little flat, or you could leave it, like, you know? I want the wing to be cute. Is this how they make drums and flats? Yes, on a whole wing. You didn't know that? I've seen a TikTok, and the boy was explaining how we really getting cheated because he wanted, when he ordered a 10 piece, it's supposed to be the whole wing. Made a debate about drums and flats, and they cutting it. Bitch, that's crazy as hell. Why did I never know yeah, that? So I think we should cut this off. You cut that off, and then that's right. Or should we leave it? All right, y'all, we cutting the wings. You just told me something new. Yeah. How did you, okay, so you go, you spread it like that? For the joining, so look, you, before you even do that, you think, like, you see where the joint is? Oh my God. Yeah, I don't like how it cracked like that. You're just cutting it in half. You need to cut along the joint. You're literally cutting the bone, like. Oh my God. Okay, please. let me do this. You whisk the buttermilk. You whisk the buttermilk. <laughs> You gotta get on your zoom. Yes, that looks nice and seasoned. Okay, then we're gonna put the chicken in there, the clean ones. You don't have to whisk the chicken. You don't whisk the chicken, Peyton. You don't whisk chicken. <laughs> you just whisk the batter. You drop it. We're back over here, cutting all these chicken wings up. Well, you peel the sweet potatoes. 
because I'm going to do this with Grammy. Have you ever had chitlins? No. I had a bad experience with chitlins. Like, my mom's friend was cooking them one day, and I had no idea, like, what they were, nothing. I didn't know they smelled that bad. Went over her house, and I was, like, crying outside for hours. No? Yes, I was like, I wouldn't even go in her house. I was on the apartment set crying. Like, I just didn't. And she was like, I put a potato in it. Like, I was, I just didn't understand. That smell is so bad. I don't know how nobody, how somebody could eat it. I just don't know. Why would you eat that? That's like the nastiest part of a pig. Like, why would you eat that? Eat your bacon, eat your pork chop, eat your stuff, at least. Leave that alone. People been growing up eating it though. I don't know. I didn't. Oh, you know, this is good. Great pillar. Skin. It's in here. Oh, it's not focusing. Okay, so saran wrap, and we're going to put this in the fridge to marinate. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Paris, what you doing? I'm just um cutting the stem off the, uh, off the collard greens. They don't know how to do that. Okay. You just rip it off, like, from here. Cut it along the, uh, you know. So after I cut them, then I will show y'all on the smaller ones, like these little baby leaves. I'll be leaving the stem on because the stem is actually where the nutrients and stuff is soaking the flavor in the green. So on a smaller one, leave them on. The big, thick ones, take it off. Stem out, stem on. Okay, so we roll. Not really a good, um, explainer i just do it just say what you're doing you gotta roll them up like a little burrito and then you just cut them like that mm. yeah cut the stem and clean them and you're gonna cut them clean them again and put them in a pot cut clean the greens you gotta rinse them like you know thoroughly clean them drain and i'm gonna take them over to the pot you kind of put the turkey leg in like I don't know if you could show them this, like. But, but the, the turkey leg? Yeah, the turkey leg starts to like fall apart. Like that's when you know, like, okay, you could put some, cause it starts to fall apart. I put the onion and garlic in there, yeah. I put half of that big onion that we had bought, mm -hmm. so. And that was like two garlic cloves. Yeah, oof, payment. You could put more garlic cloves, payment just had to. We got paste though, we got paste. And then green. Transfer. Mm -hmm. My stomach is hurting y'all so bad I had to drink a protein shake. <laughs> ew, ew. Cause when you cook it like this, you might as well wait till the food done. I had to starve myself for this meal. About to be like a thousand calories. Then you gonna put that in there. Then we're gonna season it. Get the seasoning. You do have no regular pepper. You got some garlic pork and this pepper. That's fresh. Where's all this fucking work? Where's the shaker? Uh, I got this one, and you know what it does? It just sits for decoration. <laughs> I'm crying. You get the pepper from Costco. Okay guys, so I'm gonna actually eat one of the edibles. I'm a little nervous. I didn't want to get too late for this video because I really, Ooh. I'm the type, I gotta make, what? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, it might be a little spicy. It's okay, spicy wings are okay. I like spice. Okay, well, I um, just wanted to give a little quick shout out to Via Hemp Co. They sent me some Eddie's. We are going to be taking some Eddie's, but they sent me some THCA pre-rolls. I'll have their Instagram information in the description box so y'all can go and follow them. If anything, follow them on Instagram or DM me, but it will be in the comments. So really all greens is in is just boiled. What you mean boiled greens? That's all it is. This is how you cook them, yeah. So really it's just, why are these so thick? Oh hell no. Nah. It's 80 milligrams of Delta 8 and 20 milligrams of Delta 9. So really, I ain't even about to play. I don't play with buy him for edibles, y'all. I'll tell y'all now, like <laughs> oh, sorry. If you ain't sneezing, if you ain't sneezing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They be making these strong. Like these are stronger than the edibles you can get at the actual dispensary. So a little shot of vinegar. Oh you okay, it's not bad. It's just thick. No, it doesn't taste like that. You think? Let me continue the yam. Damn, girl, look at all them yams. It's actually good. It don't have that little nasty aftertaste. My first time peeling a yam. What's the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? 
So this is like people call them yams. Some people call them candy yams. You know, it's candy sweet potatoes. Cause it's like candy sweet. sweet potatoes. Like you put all that sugar and shit on. I'm not really a fan of these. Like I don't really make these a lot. Started making them like a little more often. I don't know. My boyfriend like them. I like them. So too. I started making them a little more. You're teaching me something I didn't know. Yes, sir. If y'all at home, grab your bottle. Yeah. Grab your shot. You know, if any of y'all got EBT, let me know. Let us all. Oh, I got a yam head. I got brown wow. rice, but. We got too many. Some people cut them like this, or we could just cube them. Which one you want? Um, Surprise me. I don't really care. Are you even gonna eat them? Yeah, I'm gonna eat a little. Okay. I'm just obsessed with these cups. Oh, so. yeah. We're gonna have a ghetto lemon, a ghetto blueberry lemon drop. Blueberry is disgusting. Bitch, it's not real blueberry. You don't like blueberry? I actually, I actually hate blueberry. Really? I asked Peyton to get an orange when we was at the store. That's not an orange? This girl got a goddamn grapefruit. Grapefruit. <laughs> what? Bro, that's wait, a this is orange. Wait, what? Wait, 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 Why is it this color? It says yeah. orange right there. No, it don't. It said orange on the sign. Uh, Look at it. Girl. Fancy. A perfect rim. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Did you learn to do that? I'm a bartender on my spare time. Perfect rims for my lemon drops. Tinder. Cheers. Cheers. That's liquor. <laughs> you guys are wondering why it's just me and Paris in today's video. It was kind of like a little Ooh. last minute thing. Yeah. I feel like folks are gonna try to paint stupid narratives. Nah, I was just off. It's a random Monday. Like I was gonna film today with or without Paris, and Paris just decided to tag along. Don't you help me do the soul food? Why not? I'm off Monday. That's how it went. Fancy. Margarita. Oh, God. That's <coughs> a little twang to it, bitch. The yams is falling. The yams is falling. Look at them yams, girl. Girl, what you doing with all them yams? We made it. A big pot, not a little pot. Like, no, a little pot. We just need to make the sauce. Let me see the pot. I'm taking full credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> Syrup sauce or whatever you do. Some people just like sprinkle it on there and then mix it up. I don't know, what should we do? I don't know, girl. I trust you. Ooh, I feel like this edible is good for me. Yeah. Something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel slow, like why well, I don't know the next step. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> Hold on. Let's just sprinkle it on there. <laughs> Put the foil on top. So we gonna sprinkle some of this on there. The thingy for the brown sugar. Bro is taking no measurements, bro. This is crazy. I, would, <laughs> I don't know. There's how. no way I will ever be able to recreate this because I need measurements. Like I cannot just wing it. But sugar, I this is diabetes. But I don't know how. Like I love it. Bricked up. <laughs> That's a crazy word. <laughs> no, the way this shit, like, why is it not shaking out? You gotta crumble it, like. Yeah. Bow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Have you seen The Little Mermaid? Ooh, uh, and I see you seen it twice. I did. It's so good, like. Did. Nutmeg. Okay, tell them what you're doing. Okay, so I put the brown sugar in, the uh, white sugar, a little nutmeg. I think that's enough. I don't think you put that much nutmeg. Cinnamon. I think that's enough. I don't think you put that much nutmeg. <laughs> My grandma told me that you could put like uh, the batter uh, flavoring, a little sprinkle, sprinkle. So you put a little vanilla extract and then um, we didn't find the cake batter one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of maple. Honey. We are making so much Put some butter up, put it on top. And I guess you put it along like, it's already room temperature, so. Somebody told me you can make these on a the stove and it's easier. I've never did that before, so. Oh 
So this is that, and then we're gonna put some foil and put them in the oven. Let's start on the mac and cheese. Yeah, so we just turned on the oven to 375 degrees. Now what do we need to do? At the top? Um, we're gonna open it, stir it around, you know, mix it up. I think till they're for tender, like till they soft, you know? Okay. And candy. Now I guess we can start working on that and cheese. Kabatapi doodles. Kabatapi. Oh. Little swirls. I'm saying kabapity. Huh? <laughs> the little swirls. Hey. I never use this square cheese, so I'm using this square cheese. Until it molds. <laughs> what are you using me? Anything. As long as it's not moldy, I'll use it. I've never even seen cheese mold. Really? As soon as the, what, whatever the expiration says on the bag, that's. I will what, eat expired food. Whatever the expiration says on the bag, that's it's going in the trash so two days before. I don't no, even. I will use something until it's expired. Cause that's wasting have a, food. Do you have a time limit? Like, if it molds. So if it smells it bad, thirty days past. You no, know, like like produce. fresh vegetable. Yeah, like fresh produce. Once it's expired, it's expired. But like cheese and like bread, shit like that. It's not moldy. I just ate some expired bread the other day. It was good. I had a burger. Bitch, what the fuck? My bitch, the cheese wasn't even expired. My own bread and cheese. Bitch, the cheese wasn't expired. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the bread and cheese if she's cooking. Bitch, I need you. to see it before it's done. Got the cupcake tin. I clean this. This is clean, so we can just use it. I'll clean this is Jiffy. Everybody knows how to make Jiffy. You should. Just follow the box. The only thing we adding. The only thing we're adding extra is some sour cream and a little honey. And paint this one to add a little vanilla. She said it's she said it's good. I never added vanilla. But she said it's good. Okay. Oh, got a shell. We'll bounce back from that. Yeah. We need to act like we're I'm about to act like you're on top chef. So what do you have for us, chef? Um we're gonna put some of this. I'm gonna just put like two caps. Or should I just put one? You don't like sweet. With two minutes left on the clock, you think you can make cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> Jiffy. What is one third plus one third? Just pour it till it look right. That's what I. Oh my heard. god. Okay, just tell me when to stop. That like. A little more. It's two boxes. One. Little girl. Mm, mm, mm. I can just taste this. We're gonna fry the chicken last, so we're waiting for the noodles to boil. Then we're gonna make the cheese sauce and uh, put it all together, put it in the oven. Like, I thought it was gonna be like way more. It's just a lot of prep. Like, you know how some cooking just be a lot of prep, more prep than like, I It really doesn't seem that hard, so I'm I feel like I could do this for Once you get everything clean, like, that's all you prep. You prep the night before. And then once you start putting everything on, it's just like a matter of time at that point. Because the greens just gotta cook, it just has to go in the oven. It's the only manual labor, I guess you standing there frying. I to do some fried chicken. This will be like my first time frying bone in. I've only done like boneless. With the bone in, because I just don't trust, you know, I don't trust chicken. Like chicken them cutlets? Big ass pieces of chicken or like, yes, yeah, chicken strips. Like I just don't trust it. I need Why? to make sure it's done in the <laughs> middle. Like I need to make sure it's done. I cooked a chicken strip before like frying it and that shit was not done in the middle. These are the Delta 8, Delta 9 free rolls. They sent me grape brunch, strawberry cough, blue drink. I tried strawberry cough first. It's cool. But yeah, it's just a bunch of like free rolls. They sent me hella. These two are sativa and then grape brunch is hybrid. Grape brunch, I don't like grape. Paris don't really be smoking on boy, y'all. She switched up I, on the community. Um, oh, I should tell y'all about that, hun. I stopped smoking for like two months. I just wanted to stop, like. People can become, you become addicted to weed and you don't know, like. I'm definitely addicted. Like, I first started smoking weed just like, some regular, you know? And I started abusing the weed. 
I started abusing people. Smoking fat blunts every other hour, like, I'm way too much. You're doing too much. Every other hour is crazy. And then I recently, like this weekend, I smoked. I broke my little stop. Was it peer pressure or did you just really want to do it? No, I just smoked. I was like, what did it? Like, randomly. You did. And then it's crazy to say, even though you went too much, like, but now that I smoke this weekend, I don't know what's the next step from here. So we, like I tell you, I smoke one and I got high. I'll let you know, buddy. You know what, they are clutch. And it's already like rolled, it's something fast. Like, we did, I didn't put a timer on for none of this stuff. I was gonna ask you, did you put a timer on for the noodles? But we I, might be, we're falling a little bit off track. I don't, I don't know how the tutorial. <laughs> like, uh, anytime I don't take measurements, I feel like that's when I do the worst or follow measurements. That's why I like to follow the little Hello Fresh recipes. Damn. <laughs> some evaporated milk and then some heavy whipping cream. I think we're almost done. Macaroni still gotta cook. Chicken still gotta fry. We had to get this Gouda cheese, so hopefully it's cool. It's a five cheese mac and cheese. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay, it's, mm, don't show that. Away we'll come back when it's a sauce. The things is cooking. He should put that uh, 30 minutes later, an hour later. Oh my god, what time is this shit gonna be done? So the cover looks good. Hand me a nice so I can poke it. Ooh, Two hours later and we got some cornbread. I cut them. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they might be good. You can taste them so. We might eat a piece of cornbread. We're gonna taste this piece of chicken to see how our work is. I'm not gonna my fingers. We might have um, didn't think about this, like, but we're gonna let it cool off. Got our candy and so we just hang out. Whatever they are. The macaroni and the uh, honey butter cornbread. And the greens have reduced all the way down. We're just letting them cook for their last few minutes. The smoked turkey leg is off the bone. They cook down. Beautiful pile of rice. <laughs> is that a good enough tutorial for you guys? This is the last bag for that damn chicken. Crunchy fried chicken. Six hours later. At the restaurant. 
when they're trying to get the old people too much salt. It does, though. The greens are for sure spicy, but it's still good. Like, I like them a little more. Those hot peppers did um, justice. Yeah. I still have them. Where you write it? A 10 out of 10 because it's a virus, of course. Pretty good. This shit does too long. Yeah, I did. I was not expecting that. Mm mm. And it's so fucking much. Like this is so long. Quick shit, and I appreciate this. This puts you to sleep. You ate all them salmon crackers. I done worked the eight hour shift over here. And we're going to think I'm cheating. Just wanted to give another shout out to Maya mm -hmm. Hemco for sending over these THCA goodies. Also, we both took one of these and I feel like these for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. That's what did it. I feel like it definitely made me really high. It made it feel like, I feel like it took us as long because we made a lot. But I feel like we got one box for everything. But yeah, shout out to Maya Hemco. <laughs> I got the ideas or something. But um, that was it for this video, you guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. Another hotbox is coming real soon. Thank you guys so much.